time for my 17th John Carpenter game, Once Be a Millionaire, the Family Entertainment Edition for the DVD. Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. Adult Sport, once again. Excellent. You've chosen to use your sporting knowledge to boost your bank account. I bet you're confident of winning huge amounts of money, so let's get the first five easy questions out of the way. Have a look at question one. For a hundred quid. What's the target card at which darts players aim? Log, board, plank, stave. It's a dart board. That's very good for 100 quid. For 200 quid. Which rock return refers to a kick at goal after a try? Mutation, transition, conversion, metamorphosis. It's a conversion. That's the right answer for 200 pounds. Now you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this 300 pound question. For 300 quid. Who's last been to score one? The trophy for the team picture here. David Beckham, Wayne Rooney, Michael Owen, Johnny Wilkinson. That'd be Johnny Wilkinson. Well done. You won. 2002 Rugby World Cup final, I believe. Let's get you up to 500 pounds with question number four. For 500 quid. Scott's National Rugby Stadium, Murray, Murrayfield, is in which city? Glasgow, Aberdeen, Edinburgh, Dundee. It's in Edinburgh. Uh, you wouldn't want to give me a wrong answer on this tape, would you? And it's a good job you didn't. You got the right answer. You can guarantee yourself £1,000 if you can answer this question. For a thousand quid. Which golfing terms collectively used for shorter woods than the driver? Putting woods, fairway woods, chipping woods, bunker woods. They're fairway woods. That's the correct answer. Well done. That's what I like to see. Five correct answers and £1,000 safely in the bank. This is where things hot up a little bit, though, as we try and turn that £1,000 for at least 32,000. Here comes question number six. And remember, you still have all three lifelines remaining. For 2,000 quid. What's the nickname of the South African golfer Ernie Els? Great White Shark, Big Easy, Supermax, Waters. Great White Shark is Greg Norman, Supermax is Lee Trevino, Waters is Craig Staller, or Ernie Els the Big Easy? Is that your Yes. You just won two thousand pounds. This was the right answer. He's kind of busy because of his a smooth uh, swing, even though he's a bit, you know, he's a tall golfer. Very well done. You've yet to touch any of your three lifelines, and the correct answer here will win you four thousand pounds. Lots of luck. Here comes the question. For four thousand quid. Which nationality is the world championship winning rally driver on the left? Finnish, Spanish, Scottish, German. The late great Carl McRae from Scotland. You had two thousand pounds. I can tell you, it was the right answer. You doubled your money to four thousand. Well, that goes like this: you're on four thousand pounds, and you have all three of your life rights still intact. You are just three questions away from the next milestone. The The halfway points in this game. Where were the World Cup's final held in the year this man won the Golden Boot? Argentina, Mexico, Spain, Italy. I believe they're held in Mexico. You had four thousand pounds. You now have eight thousand. Very well done. I believe that's Gary Lingo that would be from the, um, 80, after the 82 or the 86 World Cup Finals. Okay, things are getting a little bit more 
more serious now. Sixteen thousand pounds is a lot of money. That's how much you can win by giving me the right answer to question number nine. The drop, if you get this wrong, though, has gone up to seven thousand. So think carefully before you give me an answer. For sixteen thousand quid. Which 2006 sporting event was won by Felix Lima? U.S. Masters, Grand National, London Marathon, Tour de France. That big London Marathon. I have to ask you if that is your final answer. Yes. You're right. You just won sixteen thousand pounds. Well, I'm magnificent. For 32,000 pounds. In 2006, which company succeeded Embassy as sponsors of the World Snooker Tournament? Google, Triple8.com, Yahoo, Apple. That'd be a Triple8.com. Well, you risked 15,000 pounds on this question. Will you regret it? I won't. I doubt it. <laughs> You've given me the right answer, and it's worth 32,000 pounds. I believe there's. I believe there's no sponsor for World Snooker Tournament that happened um, last year. I might be wrong. Hmm. You can breathe a sigh of relief now. You will not be leaving with anything less than £32,000. And you might as well play the next question as you now have nothing to lose. Get this right, and I'll be giving you 64000 Have a look. Here it comes. For 64000 quid. Which Formula 1 circuit includes the corners called Tamborello and Rivazza? Monza, Manicor, Imola, Monaco. Those are corners at Imola. I know you have nothing to lose, but are you sure that is the answer you want to go with? Yes. You had £32,000. You had nothing to lose going for this question. As it turns out, you had everything to gain. That's the right answer. Tempero was the corner that uh, tragically took on my urgent sentence life at the uh, 94 San Marino Grand Prix. <coughs> mm. 125,000 pounds is a lot of money and it's what I could be giving you if you can give me the right answer to the next question. You do stand to lose the 32,000 you've just won if you do give me a wrong answer at this point. Here comes question number 12. For £125,000, how old was the legendary racehorse when he was won this race for the third time? 10, 8, 6, 12. He was 12. Once you've said this is your final answer, you know there is no going back. Are you sure? Yes. It's not often people get to play this question. You could be about to lose £32,000. Of course, you could be about to win £125,000. And you have. It's the right answer. Very well done. <laughs> you could be about to lose £93,000. If you give me the wrong answer to this question, if you give me a correct answer, you'll win a quarter of a million. I would much rather that happen. The very best of luck to you. Let's have a look at question number 13 of a possible 15. For a quarter of a million, which British male athlete last held the world's best time for the marathon? Mike McLeod, Steve Jones, David Bedford, Charlie Spedding. That was Steve Jones. You could be about to become a quarter of a millionaire. Or of course, you could be about to lose £93,000. You've just given me the right answer to it. You could now go all the way. Jones ran a uh, 2 8 14 at the uh, 1984 Chicago Marathon. Wow, things are still going very well indeed. You just keep giving me the right answer, and I keep handing you bigger and 
something bigger and bigger sums of money. I do have even more money that I could give you, starting with a virtual check for £500,000. But only if you can answer this next question. For half a million, what is the name of the athlete pictured second from the left wearing sunglasses? Andrew Rock, Daryl Williamson, Jeremy Warner, Derek Brew. That'd be Jeremy Warner. I must say, I love it when people play these big questions. You had £250,000. You now have £500,000. Fantastic! I'm not sure I've ever asked someone a million pound question without them having already used up all of their life money. But you do now have a real chance to take out the million. And you might as well take advantage of the life money situation, even if you are sure you know the answer. Let's hope in just a few moments' time we will all be celebrating. Here comes your 15th and final question. Mr. Tart? You do the honors. What does the instruction Yoshi mean when uttered by a judo referee? Begin. Do not move. Break. Continue. It's continue. I have to check that you are really going to play this question. Is this your final answer? Yes. Amazingly, you've decided to play the million pound question when you could have walked away with half a million. Instead, you're walking away with one million pounds. You know that that is has to be well done. Not only have you had one million, you also had the chance to enter a draw during a fantastic, all expensive page, family holiday. Just text the winning code. The number, of the number 30 on the DVD games. <sighs> Very well done. Thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I will say this though, the logo on the top of the game over thing, that will also be used for the uh, 2006 uh, Party Edition game, which was for the PC, PS2, and PSP. Thanks for watching.